Well, I'm still at this uh, RAF museum, and as you can see, these weren't here last Sunday. So, um, <laughs> I mean, look at some of this stuff. And it's great, the, the kids are allowed on them, and as you can tell from that girl um, playing with the horn there. But I do have to say, I've been aware of this museum for a while. This is, the, last Sunday was the first time I ever came here. And say so now I'm back again, just to go into H2 which I didn't have time for last week. But I have to say, this is a, a very impressive museum. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, aircraft here, of course, from all sorts of decades, but it's also good for the kids. Um, you know, you, there's some sort of playground here, and the kids are allowed on the, these vehicles. <laughs> um, but there's all sorts of interactive stuff there um, for the kids to to play with and um, a lot of it's free actually there are a couple of things that there's a charge for but there's plenty of things uh, for the kids to do here actually they all seem to be having a, a, a good time so um, it, it, it might be the sort of thing that little boys are more interested in than little girls maybe there's a fellow with a good t-shirt on we kicked off at half 12 at um, playing Tottenham at Wembley mm, big game that is well they're all big games I suppose Anyway, um, yeah, so this isn't a bad place to, if you've got kids, I mean, say, as you can see, there's, you know, little girls playing with things as well, um, so maybe it's just not for little boys, as another little one over there playing, but it, it, it does seem as though, you know, one could have a good day here, um, and it's free, I mean, the museum itself is free, except for these, you know, the odd thing uh, that one can pay for if one wants to, and of course there's cafes and all that normal sort of stuff so I have to admit I, I would uh, kind of wish I'd come here before actually I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by this